Oh, the guy is here. It's full of strong trainers. No. <laughs> Go ratings, boy fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu playthrough. If you have been enjoying the series so far, don't forget to drop a like on the video. And if you haven't picked up a Batty Bad t-shirt yet, make sure you do that soon, because there's a very high likelihood that they're going to sell out. Um, I have to update you guys on what's been going on off-camera. You may be wondering, what is this Growlithe named Buff doing in my party? Well, inspired by Jubilee, shiny hunting and finding a shiny Pikachu. I wanted to shiny hunt Growl uh, Growlithe because I decided I want to use an Arcanine on my team. Growlithe's level up move set in this game is incredible. At level 35, it knows it can know Flamethrower, Play Rough, Outrage, and Crunch, which is like really good coverage that's gonna help. Um, so I'm gonna try a shiny one and after hunting for like, oh, hello. After hunting for several hours, I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm exhausted and this is so boring. So I just decided to use the strongest Growlithe that I have, which is a very good one. I named him Buff to like differentiate him from the other ones in my box. Um, and uh, I ended up kind of liking the name, so I kept it. <laughs> so this is Buff, and check this out. Very good, <laughs> very, very good. Um, my, the rest of my team has maybe leveled up a little bit, but I didn't want them to get over-leveled. Um, so I made sure to switch my party around and leveled up other Pokemon whose like evolutions I needed for deck entries. And so I have quite a few more Pokemon in my decks than I did before the end of last episode. I also have like a couple Pokemon that are like level 37, 38, but I'm not gonna use them, you know? I don't want this to be super easy. Also, Zor and Sky evolve when they grow one level. Um, I definitely didn't want that to happen off camera. Buff, I will be evolving with a Firestone once he reaches level 35, because that's when he learns Play Rough, the last move I care about. Because he learns Flare Blitz, but I prefer Flamethrower. So, now that I have covered all that, and there's an Arcanine just chilling again, uh, we're gonna fight some trainers, and, uh, because I dodged all of these. Also, I did a good chunk of the hunting on the route east of, um, like, the underground path is, you know, to the left. It's, like, just as you, like, exit that underground path. So I went a little bit ahead, but I didn't battle any trainers off camera. Um, it's just, like, it was easier to hunt there because I could, like, go in and out of the gate to, to Saffron. So I could reset the encounters much quicker. Oh, I have a bunch of Growlithe candy. I should give that to Buff to make him super extra buff. Yeah. I'll get rid of Heat Wave. Flame Heat Wave is slightly more powerful in exchange for not being 100% accurate, which is no bueno in my book. Oh, so close! Oh, come on! <laughs> Buff's first battle is not going well. That that just ain't right. I mean, we can run over to Lavender real quick. So I'll just use Crunch. It doesn't. Crunch is something that I really wanted, because there's no dark types in this game, and I need psychic coverage to at least a certain degree. And I think having a Pokemon know a strong dark type attack that's, like, not a ghost that's weak to it is a good thing. <laughs> So, we'll run back and heal real quick. Um, and I'll feed him that Growlithe candy. Also, I should probably buy more Great Balls. I used, I used a lot of Great Balls on Growlithe. Also, you may not have noticed, but I changed Pikachu's hair. To change the hairstyle of your Pikachu or Eevee, you have to, like, pet its head using, like, either three fingers or five fingers in handheld mode. Um, so, I didn't do that on camera because, you know... I found out about it off-camera, like, ah, oh, this isn't something I can record, so why, like... Goodness, that's a lot. He's about to get a lot stronger, oh my god. I wish I could give him more than one at a time, because I'm just, like, mashing A. This is effectively giving him, like, five extra levels, I would estimate. 21 divided... 21 in each... And no, that's a, that's like 10 extra levels. The candy system is so broken in this game, it really is. And now we're about to wreck everything with this Arcanine. Once he's an Arcanine. He still needs Play Rough. 
So he's not gonna not gonna evolve until he learns that level 35. He learns Outrage next level. Got a lot of mighty candy from uh from all those growl lists that I got. <laughs> I could, there were like some where I could get like, I got 4,000 experience for catching one Growlithe because I got a first throw, excellent throw, and it was like a new record for the biggest one I'd caught. And I was like, oh my god, it was so much experience. If you want to, if you want to level grind, like do catch combos because you get extra experience for catching the same Pokemon over and over again. And catch combos were definitely very helpful. In bag is 15. Oh, I definitely need more. That's probably good. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, definitely want to battle these trainers. I need money. I've spent a lot of money. I've spent like half my money in the, in the course of like shiny hunting that Growlithe. Which I never got, but that's okay. I got this, this really buff one. This is buff. He is the buff one. <laughs> I fought this guy. I'm a rambling gambling dude. All right. Gamer rich. Oh, come on. Alright, we'll get to use Razor Leaf with Zor for the first time. I think, I can't remember if that happened on camera or not. But Zor, in the process of leveling up, learned Razor Leaf. Oh, thank god that missed. Oh, come on! That's the second time this playthrough Zor's gone down to an Oko move! That is getting so annoying! I was just at the Pokemon Center! You're about to get Thunderbolted by a special attack boost and perfect IV Pikachu. You stupid, stupid fish! If that had hit, I would have lost my mind. Stupid, stupid fish. John, aka Pokemon, hates Seeking, which is kind of a funny, like, Pokemon to hate. Well, at least he gave me 4,200 bucks for winning. It's kind of a funny Pokemon to hate because it's, like, not very, uh... Like, no one cares about Seeking, you know? Like, I don't know anybody whose favorite Pokemon is Seeking, but I don't know anyone who, like, hates it or dislikes it, you know? Except for John, who despises Seeking. And I just think that's just so funny. He hates it because it's, like, just a fish, basically. But it's a fish with a horn, you know? So, it's got that going for it. I think that's what he said his reasons were. I might be wrong. Don't, don't quote me on this. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do another battle without having to turn back and heal a member of our team. Look at the little dog. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. We are running across this route. I had to remove Steed from the party because Growlithe needed a spot, and unfortunately, can't use Growlithe as a speedy Pokemon until I evolve it, which I can't do until level 35. <laughs> Which I could, like, get it to reasonably quickly by, like, grinding encounters. Oh, Jolteon. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. Golem learned Earthquake. Off camera. Which is like, oh my god, the movesets in this game give you really good moves early on. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> I've yet to use it. Yeah, I could get it to 35 quickly, but I, I don't want to overlevel, you know? It's kind of crazy how you just get you get so much more experience from catching Pokemon than you do from from fighting trainers. Trainers are how you get like balls and money. Catching is how you get experience. Is this I'm just gonna wait, sit here and wait ten years for this to end? Oh, it's only two times that time. All right, that's nice. Goodness.
three free Pokeballs. Yeah. I have not fought this guy. These gamblers seem to have one high-level Pokemon. Gamers, not gamblers. Ugh! Wait, I think I understand now. Ivysaur went down to a Diglett that used Fisher. Ivysaur went down to a gamer's seeking that used Horn Drill. All these gamers Pokemon just have Oko moves that they just spam. That's how they're gamblers. They're just gambling on hoping they land an Oko move. Yeah, they all just know Oko moves. That's a hilarious quirk. I'm much less upset now. Because that's honestly, like, that's that's really creative. I, was that the case in the past games? I don't think it was. <gasps> Yeet! We're going to have a follow it so we can uh, get an up-close and personal look at its... Long legs in the bank. Zor. Flower in its back catches sun rays. It's absorbed and used for energy. So, all, what all plants do? Oh, petal dance. All right. I prefer like Giga Drain, but we're gonna get rid of Vine Whip. I'm so sick of Vine Whip. I mean, great animation, but it's so freaking weak. <laughs> I really like that they make it so, like, any Pokemon in your party can follow you, not just, the, like, the one that's in the front. Take out a Pokeball. All right, Zor. Oh, look at those long legs. Yeah, yeah. show them off. Show that booty. Pikachu. The Pikachu, you better not do anything extremely rude. Can you please just let me KO you peacefully with a flamethrower? Thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. That was nice. That was nice. Oh, come on. I didn't get me to... 31? Ugh. I want to learn outrage! Meowth is so cute. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Last Andrea. Fight! Flamethrower! I think that growl with candy definitely helped a lot, because that was a vicious Oko. <laughs> yeah, you can only get 120 experience from uh, from beating like a Pokemon. You don't get very much experience at all. You get so much more experience from catching Pokemon. Outrage! It's gonna be my dragon coverage. <laughs> I mean, I should probably get a water type at some point that knows, like, Ice Beam, or I'll teach uh, Mew Ice Beam. I want to use Heat Wave before I delete it. Just to see what it looks like. Of course it misses. See, that's why we're deleting Heat Wave! <laughs> I hate moves that are not 100% accurate. Okay, it looks this... It looks like how expected. All right, we used it once. Okay, I have no qualms with getting rid of it now. I, I like never saw how many, I never noticed how many Pokemon she had. Rude. Well, now you're gonna get outraged, which is not as powerful, but it's still fun to use. Maybe. Don't 
does look like a fire type move. The animation makes it look like one. Meow! So anime. Cat girl, anime, and so forth and so on. Oh, those long legs! Fight me! I have a dog waiting to crush you. Go, oh, sick him, buff. Super nerd Leslie. Oh, perfect. This is going to be a very much an, an Oko. Flamethrower. Bye, Magnemite. Bye bye. Sleep well. <laughs> it cries. <laughs> I still am tickled by that. Okay, I definitely want this item, whatever it is. Oh, of course, now you find something. Big mushroom. Okay, that can be sold for a good chunk. Come on, Zor. Find something enticing. What you got? Oh, come on! It's weird that he's not... You're just smelling the scent of grass? Dude! It's weird how he's, like, not... I, I feel like Venusaur should be way bigger than that. Like, that's a child. And this child is taller than it. How tall is Venusaur? I thought Venusaur was much bigger. I thought Venusaur was, like, like the same size as Torterra. You know how big Torterra is in the anime? My Venusaur is six foot four. My Venusaur is six foot four. Look how tall it is next to my guy. That means I am a six foot seven or so child, according to this scaling. Man, he looks so uncomfortable traveling like that. All right, I've, I've gotten enough of this. It's too tiny. Uh, we'll let Sky uh, hop outside the Pokeball for a bit. I should catch some Pokemon when we get out here. I do want to catch a Porygon. So Porygon spawns on this route right here. I haven't caught any yet, because when I was hunting, I didn't want to break my Growlithe chain. So um, we're going to catch Porygon for the first time. If one actually shows up. All right, we'll catch the Growlithe. I got really good at getting excellent throws on these things. <clears throat> I get, I got really good at getting excellent throws on these things. As you can see, I did first try. Thank you for your praise. I deserve it. Hydrator day. See, 294 experience. I want Sky to evolve in this episode so I can run around with a blue Venomoth in my in my bag. Where's the Porygon? Alright, we'll just catch these Growlithe, get a small catch combo going. Man, why do I keep overthrowing him? Now I'm underthrowing him! Man, I was... Bragging now it's taking me multiple tries. I would get like five to six excellent throws in a row I wonder when you get the combo bonus I clicked too quickly. I didn't mean to do that wrecked myself there a little bit by accident <laughs> but we got the excellent throw so it's worth it <laughs> oops <laughs> I do get a combo bonus sky's close all right 
We can easily reset the... Oh, there was a Growlithe. It's fine. It's fine. Still no Porygon? There was like Porygons everywhere. Why can't I find one now? There we go. I think you get a like extra experience if the um if the Pokemon sets a new record for your smallest or biggest, which I did twice. And the first time I got that, I got like 2,500 experience. And then another time I did that, I got like, look, a bonus multiplier of 5.4. Size bonus, I got the size bonus. Oh, Sky! Yes! Finally! <laughs> Maybe now it'll be somewhat passable in battle. <laughs> it learned Leech Life, which is unfortunately a physical move when it's special attack. Oh, that's so good looking. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh man, if only it was stronger. <laughs> First Venomoth in the decks. Gust? I forgot that was on the... List. Special attack is so much higher. What is only 40 power? Eh, I guess it's extra coverage. Um Psybeam is 65 100. Confusion's 50 100. Okay, there's no reason to keep both Psybeam and Confusion. Ta-da! Cool! That's awesome. My first ever shiny Venomon. I want you to follow me. Oh, it already is. Duh. <laughs> so cool! Alright, I guess we're just gonna catch Growlithe till a freaking... A freaking Porygon decides to show up. Ah. I caught so many Growlithe. Porygons would like... They'd be like... They'd be there all the time. I need to just go inside and come back out again. That's what I need to do. If I just, like, stand around waiting like this, it might take a little while. Yeah, okay, we need to go back in, reset it. This was a good spot to hunt, because you could, like, you know, just enter and re-enter and reset all the encounters for the area. A Kadabra. But still no Porygon? I already have a Kadabra. I leveled up. I put an Abra in my party and I had to raise it one level and it evolved. Give me a freaking Porygon! I just want to catch a Porygon! What? I swear they were here! <laughs> I don't understand! Now there's just rats. No cyber ducks, just rats. I, uh, what the heck? <laughs> They'd be there like two thirds of the time. Now there's just birds. What <laughs> the, I don't understand what's happening. Oh, I had lures going. That's what the difference was. I forgot how I always had a lure going because they increased shiny odds. That was why. That was why they were showing up every time. Duh. All right, well, no. Still no Porygon, but it's fine. Maybe this will set my tiny record. We'll get a bunch of experience for it. All right, that's chill. If it breaks out once, just run. Reset your... It, you can run from the that species and not lose your uh, your catch combo. But if it breaks out once, it, they Pokemon almost never run after breaking out once. But after breaking out twice, they definitely can. One Growlithe. I feel like I'm just like the the same thing I was doing is just now back in the 
in the video. <laughs> this episode is just what what the last four hours of playing Let's Go Pikachu were. <laughs> I got two Growlithe candy for that, though, so that was nice. <laughs> Venomoth's eyes are so weird. They, like, look the same from any direction. <laughs> Which, I mean, makes sense. It can see from any direction, but they're, they're like, it's kind of unnerving. I am getting very annoyed by the distinct lack of Porygon on this route. I ran from so many of them off camera. Oh, finally! All right, finally, I'll have a chance to catch this freaking thing. It's tiny. What's my raspberry situation? I still don't have very many. We're just gonna try with the great balls. Dang it. I really don't want this thing to run. That would be so sad. If this thing runs, I'm giving up and I'm moving on. I've already spent enough time here. Oh, come on! That wasn't excellent! Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, that worked. That's just short! so long looking for that porting on. Everything is terrible. <laughs> I have to put my party back to the way it was. I'm not gonna update the layout. It's not worth it's not worth the the effort. But I just re I removed a bunch from my party because I was afraid of them getting too overleveled. And then I caught like one Growlithe and then the Porygon showed up and ran from me. I just, ah, uh, I need the, I need to be able to buy Ultra Balls. I only have three right now because I can't buy them. I mean, I guess we should just go to Celadon, go to the department store. I don't think I've fought this girl yet. Yeah, I haven't. Right you Intensity That light screen won't save you from one of my earthquakes. Road. Aha! Suck it! Jubilee has a shiny Raichu because of the Pikachu she hunted, so that's pretty cool. Doug Trio. This is something we definitely don't want to fight. This thing is going to do a, use a fast ground move that we're not going to appreciate. I mean, maybe it goes for Dig. Okay, no one for Earthquake. We Good switch. Good switch, Mikey. Let's go for Petal Dance. 
It's probably not necessary, but... Man, this dude hits hard. Alright. Next thing, be weak to grass, please. Send in a water tank. Haha, -ha, she did! <laughs> yes! Petal Lance was smart. Now. Oh. oh, but Seal sucks. <laughs> Come on! You gotta be kidding me! One razor leaf. Yes! Got it. Alright. We beat the attractive ace trainer lady. So now we get this item. And we go to the Pokemon Center <laughs> and heal. We will come back to you, Coach Good Sir. All right, can I get the T right now to get into Saffron? Because I really want to get into Saffron so I can get the TM for Psychic and teach it to Mew. Because that'll drastically improve Mew's usefulness. All right. Should give that other Growlithe candy I got to Growlithe again. Growlithe candy. CP 1086. What are my other Pokemon CP? I haven't actually looked at that CP stat at all. Where does... I have to click A. Okay, 1086. 1126. 1232. 980. 776. 1022. Okay, wow. Growlithe's gonna get a big jump in CP once it evolves. <laughs> That's what all those candies will do for you. Alright, bucko! Let's see what cool stuff you give me for beating your butt. I'm gonna beat your butt. I'm gonna beat it. Beat the butt. Farfetched. Alright, we're gonna switch for safety purposes. Gaia. Why does it make me go to their summary before switching? It's a mildly annoying thing. Yeah, that's not gonna. Really work. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh no, that'll work though! Oh, thank god, it's physical! Yes! Yes! Eat rocks, stupid duck! 34, nice. Buff is 32. A wiggly tough. I have no super effective moves against this. Which means we just go for an earthquake! Ah, so close. No! All right, buff's gonna come in, resist the fairy attack. Okay, they used for some. Okay, that did very little. It's fine. All right, we beat him, hooray! It was a great session. He is salty. Alright, what are you giving me, dude? Oh, facade, duh. Why do I never 
remember that it's like the move they use extensively. <laughs> Alright, let's find that T. After we heal. Because right now, Guy is taking a nap. And that is not ideal. Alright, everybody better now. now. I need to remember how this city works. I think I go back here, don't I? There's a door back there, I'm pretty sure, but I want this item. I can't wait till Growlithe evolves and I can use it like a bike. A nugget! Oh, nice! Cash Moneda Flow. Venomoth's looking at you no matter what direction it turns. And this is a long path. And they really, really make you go for a stroll for that rare candy, goodness. Oh, this is the entrance to this building. Somebody in this building gives me the tea. Or no, they give me the EV. That's what they give me. I mean, either way. Maybe? No, maybe they do give me the T. Maybe they give me the T and the EV. Hey. I got the TM for play rough. <gasps> Wait! That was the move I was waiting to teach Buff! When it reached level 35! So if I have this TM, I'll just teach it to him now and evolve him now! What a pleasant surprise! Arcanine! Yeet! It's a, my new smallest Arcanine. He's only four feet tall. Which does not agree with the size of it. <laughs> Elsewhere. What is its CP now that I've evolved it? And lots of evolutions this episode. 1388. Is that my new highest? It is! That's my reward for feeding it so many Growlithe candy. Well, now who has the tea? Is it in the other side of the building? Maybe it's something like the normal segment of the building. I can't remember. Well, yeah. we will get there gloriously on the back of my Arcanine! Okay, yeah, you can't enter through the back there. Okay. Brock! Hey, I didn't expect to run into you here! I'm on my way back from visiting the Celadon City Gym. Keep in touch with other gym leaders as part of our duties, after all. The girls at the gym all turned me away for some reason, though. <laughs> I actually have some pewter crunchies. Brought them as a gift to the gym here. What are these things for? Oh, he gives you the tea. Getting that <laughs> hot tea. Spill the tea, friend. I don't have enough left to give that thirsty guard now. Anyway, it looks like you've been visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best. See you, Brock. Oh, all right. 
What does the pewter crunchies do? All the status conditions of a single Pokemon. Oh, they're like sacred ash. Basically. Right? Well, now we're gonna go to Saffron. And get the TM for Psychic wherever it is. That tea you have it looks awfully tasty. What? I can have a drink? Gee, thanks! Glug, 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 glug. I can let you bottle chugging tea. All right, yeah. Call me such a strange roadblock. All right, now we must find Mr. Psychic's house. Place is, of course, overrun with various Team Rocket grunts, but that's fine. Ooh. Where's Mr. Sinking's house? Silphco. I wasn't trying to go in. Is this Mr. Psychic's house? Please tell me you're Mr. Psychic. this by accident by shaking my my joy-con <laughs> all right we finally got psychic that's so helpful that's so helpful catra finally has stab maybe i shouldn't have gotten rid of swift Swift would have been useful in case anybody double teams. Oh well, not a big deal. I also want to teach Psychic to Sky. I know it learns Psychic by level up, but I figure it's just like, might as well get rid of, I mean, TMs don't break, you know? They don't break. Might as well get rid of Psybeam. Sky's probably not gonna end up staying on the team for the entire playthrough. I feel like kind of bad, but also like, Pikachu can learn Brick Break? I guess I can get rid of Double Kick. I didn't realize it could, know, it could learn Brick Break. Yeah, okay. Well, cool. <laughs> I didn't notice that earlier. <laughs> We've gotten to the weird section of Kanto where you have access to, like, a very large amount of cities. <laughs> well, three. Still can't get past Snorlax until you do. Rocket Hideout and Lavender, Pokemon Tower and stuff. Am I supposed to go to the Pokemon Tower first? I can't remember. I do want to go to the Mart, though. Can I buy Ultra Balls yet? No. Can I buy them? We need to go to the department store. That's what we need to do. We're going to the department store. I just want Ultra Balls. Is that so much to ask? Also, I should check if there's, like, where the Move Tutor... Is there a Move Tutor in this Pokemon Center? Or are they in Celadon? None of you look like Move Tutors. Maybe you are? Oh. Interesting. I think it's Celadon where there's, a, like, a Move Tutor. I think, like, the footage where it was, what, where Batty Bad was revealed, I think, happened in Celadon. I think. Freaking Rocket Grunt. Stop! No! Stop! De-summoning my, my Arcanine! The move tutor, that's what I wanted to check in the Pokemon Center. A 
Oh, wait, no, that's the nature lady. That's a oh, wait, no, you're a move tutor. This guy. Floaty fall. Flying. Physical 90. Okay. I don't ever use Thunder Wave, so we're gonna, we're gonna... I mean, that's flying coverage that I don't currently have. Okay, and that's the lady that, like, makes it so every Pokemon has a certain nature, which I'm not really gonna worry about. Okay, now to the department store to see if I can actually finally buy Ultra Balls at it. I might have to beat Erica. But I hope not. And why won't they let me ride my Arcanine indoors? It's not a bicycle. Where's the desk? Here you are. Oh, the technical machine shop. Oh my. Oh. Some good stuff here. Shadow Ball would be very, very nice, I would say. It's really expensive, though. Shadow Ball would help with Sabrina's gym. Eh, I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Nope. I gotta get more gym badges for those sell my Ultra Balls. Sucks! If that's the case, can we beat... Can we beat Erica right now? I know I still have to do, like, the Pokemon Tower stuff. But if I can just go beat Erica right now... Might as well. Arcanine's gonna rip through her team. I always thought it was so dumb in the old Kanto games that you needed cut to get access to this gym and, and like Surge's gym too. It was so annoying. Well, the door's open! All right, guys, we're gonna do this first. <laughs> Wanna challenge Erica? I'll have to know. We only let trainers with cute Pokemon enter the gym. I wonder if Mew counts. It's cute, it's super cute! Can I pet it just a bit, please? Alright, ha! Huh. I mean, I knew I could always pick Pikachu. Want to fit? It smells good, too, I love it! Alright, alright. You're making Mew feel a little uncomfortable. Alright, I don't mind these gym entry things as long as they're, like, kind of silly, you know? Alright, we got a maze to figure out. Oh, these aren't- that, those aren't walkways, I just have to go this way. Oh, I, she didn't attack me. I just talked to her. Okay, that's fine. I mean, now that I have Psychic on Mew and Flamethrower on my freaking Arcanine, this is this is gonna be pretty simple. My giant Arcanine <laughs> against this little Oddish. You're too rough. It's battle. You must be strong. Oh, interesting. Nope. Where's the creepy guy? Did they really remove the creepy guy staring in? Like, I love this gym. It's full of beautiful women. They removed him? I'm like, kind of disappointed, but also kind of like, yeah, they probably shouldn't have creepers in this. Execute, oh, we can crunch this. This is, this gym should not be very hard. <laughs> uh, I'm like, 
I kind of like, I like don't need to battle these trainers, but I also kind of want to for the sake of money. That Shadow Ball TM is pricey. Because <laughs> I've spent so much of my money on Pokeballs. Oh, Pikachu is able to give me an Omni Boost right now. I think I'll hold on to that. I don't need to use that in some random trainer battle. I'll hold on to that until something tighter. Alright, what you got for me? Another Oddish? Child's Play. I'm like keeping buff in to get like more experience, but the experience you get from these trainer battles is negligible compared to catching Pokemon. But the trainer battles give you money. How much extra money does Payday give you? I'm wondering. Down, no problem. Catcher's level 35. Sky's finally 32. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the way to go. We're behind her. This is expansive. Oh, one actually saw me! That's weird. That doesn't normally happen. Experience or how much money do you get from these? Seventeen hundred. Okay. The gamblers give you the most. They give you like four, four thousand. Hey. Dun 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 dun. dun. Man, I was kind of hoping I could like get through here without needing to like uh, revive any PP, but <laughs> I'm going to be low on flamethrowers by the time I finish battling all these Pokemon that belong to these gym trainers. Tanjala! Dead. Sorry, dude. We might get to 33 before the gym battle starts. We don't like bug or fire Pokemon here. Well, what about the flying ones? Or the ice ones? Or the poison? Well, okay, no, you clearly like poison ones. Because all the grass types in Gen 1 are grass poison except for Tangela. I actually think it is literally every grass type in Gen 1, except for Tangela, is grass poison. I'm like 95% sure of that. Because like the Victory Bell line, Venusaur line, Oddish line, oh no, Execute and Exeggutor, they're grass psychic, Never mind. Can I kill these things with Outrage? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Might start using that against trainers who've got... I mean, I don't know if she... If she sends in the Weeping Bell, I don't know if we'll beat that. Yeah, if she's got lovely Bell Sprouts. Rustato 
Oh, you! You! Alright, that's the path back. I just want to make sure there's not any more trainers that I missed. Nope, alright. We're gonna go run and heal, and then we're gonna come back and run through this again and fight Erica. And hopefully that unlocks Ultra Balls. And the ability to fly. Oh, the guy is here. It's full of strong trainers. No, <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That they're like, we should probably remove that. And it's like, this gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. <laughs> it's like he's covering for himself. I was gonna cut this out. I was gonna cut, like, redoing this puzzle out, but I really want to, like, I, I needed to, when I noticed the guy, I was like, I have to see this and say something. And then I was just so surprised by what he said. <laughs> we are running through the gym, it's going fine. Very little too. Regrew those plants quickly. This is the one we got. And now we're gonna go Oko every single one of Erica's Pokemon. Actually, I probably shouldn't go into this so cocky. It'll go badly if that's the case. Well, maybe not. Hello! Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I guess this doesn't have a roof? And now she's asleep. Alright. Erica's a narcoleptic. Is narcoleptic. I don't know what the term for a person who has narcolepsy is. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of the Celadon City Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are all of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to cha challenge me? Very well. But I shall not lose. It begins! Gym leader Erica. Tanjale! Go, buff! Alright, I don't need the Omnibus. We're just gonna flamethrower this thing. Yes! One for one. On Oko's. Veepin' Battle. And then Vileplume's our last one, right? Booyah! Alright, Vile Plume. Can we Oko you with this flamethrower? We can't! Okay, well that will do very little. Is Mega Drain really your best move? We're going for the flamethrower here in case she heals. She doesn't heal. Do the gym leaders not have potions? Our rival had potions. That's weird. Weird that they don't even have potions. Oh, nice. 33. Whoa, that's a lot of increase in every stat, and I love it. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. Thanks, it's because I caught like 10,000 Growlis. <laughs> Must confer on you the rainbow badge. Yeah, Pikachu, you didn't do anything, but you're still helpful. 
Mega Drain. Mega Drain? Not Giga Drain? All right, we're gonna pet Pikachu. You deserve pets. Plus, the more I increase your affection, like, the more cool stuff I get. I'm not feeding you any berries, though. Berries are so hard to come by. All right, well, we can teach some, we can teach, I guess, Venusaur Mega Drain. His special attack. Well, what's what's Venusaur's special attack stat? Oops. Oh, attack is actually like the same. I did not know that. I, oh, it's because attack's boosted. That's why. Looks like it had good IVs though. I didn't get a good look, but I saw amazing stats. Let's Mega Drain. Oh, it's 75. Oh. That's surprising. They buffed it. Cool. Uh, we're gonna get rid of... We're gonna get rid of Razor Leaf. Because Mega Drain is stronger. Like, and the attack and special attack are basically the same. Yeah. Plus, having the the uh, the option to leech seed and poison powder stack on something is going to be really nice. Eventually, I can get toxic instead of poison powder, but that'll come in handy. But it is about time for me to wrap it up for this episode. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to pick up a baddie bad to the bone t-shirt before they are gone. And that is all I have for now. So, until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all!